Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Valerie Cavazos. A place that once helped troubled teens is said to be the new shelter for migrants seeking asylum. The Catholic Diocese is working on the plan to lease part of Pima, uh, Pima County's juvenile detention center to house about 300 migrants. And KGO 9 Inside's Craig Smith is here with more on that plan. Craig. Pima County used alternative programs to reduce the number of teens it locked into the detention center. That freed up space that can be used to house migrants, but the diocese says it will make sure it does not have a jail atmosphere. The developer who bought the former Benedictine monastery let Catholic Community Services use it to house immigrants while he prepared to change the monastery into apartments. About 10,000 migrants have passed through the monastery since January, but now the developer needs the building back to start the housing conversion. That left the diocese searching for a replacement. About a month ago, the diocese and the county started talking about adapting vacant state space in Pima County's juvenile detention facility. It has laundry services, food service, it's secure. Uh, we believe we can make it a very welcoming environment, actually removing locked doors, things of that nature, because it was a detention facility. But we actually think through the warm welcome of our up to 50 employees and volunteers per day, anxious to be of help, we think we can make it a very warm, inviting place, as well as a really excellent Now, the county facility. is proposing a lease for $100 a year. It will look to the federal government to reimburse costs through funds set aside for humanitarian assistance. All right, Craig, thank you very much.